Hey, Jeff! Ugh. Did you see that part in the Thor trailer where Helmet destroys Thor's hammer and Hulk fights Surtur and Loki teams up? No, 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 stop! I've had it with these mother spoilers and these mother trailers! Ah! Hello. I am the Rookie Critic. I do not have a slogan, but I, uh, I guess I'll come up with one later. I'm not sure where to really start at the moment. I mean, these trailers are- hey, Jeff! Crank it up a few notches! Why? They annoy me so much. People would probably rather you be upbeat or super angry. If you and the squad keep interrupting, then you'll see me angry for sure. <clears throat> Sorry about that, YouTube people. This video is not a review, this is more like my opinion on the subject. We might even be entering some rant territory. Trailers and spoilers have existed for a long time and can go hand in hand. I think the first trailer popped up in the year 1913 by showing snippets from a film. I used to love trailers. They are meant to show you just enough to entice you to go into the theater and see it. Everyone knows that. It's a marketing method that has worked so well for so many years that people have done whatever they can to improve them to get even more people in seats. There's nothing wrong with making improvements, except for now, it's reached a point where there's so much competition with streaming that they have to give away more details about the movie in the trailers, sometimes even spoiling it. Back in the day, I used to watch trailers hoping to get hyped, but now I try my best to avoid them, unless it's for an original film or one that I know absolutely nothing about. A good example is Atomic Blonde and Valerian. I have never heard of them before I saw the trailers, of which I think were poorly marketed, but I was curious enough to see them anyway. They still enticed me. The reason I'm even making this video is due to recent trailers spoiling way too much of the films and the repetitions in the style of the trailers. I'll just go over a few examples. First one, Terminator Genesis. I was never a huge Terminator fan, but I liked T1 and T2, and even the show had its enjoyable moments. Terminator 3 was okay, but disappointing, and Salvation was very boring. When the trailer for Terminator Genesis came out, it was looking like a very promising, cool movie, but then they just revealed the shock twist. Spoiler warning right here if you were lucky enough to skip the trailer or have not seen the movie yet. The trailer shows us that John Connor somehow becomes a Terminator. Like, don't tell us that! Next up is Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this is a little tricky since there were five Spider-Man movies made within 20 years. An original trilogy and a reboot. Then we get a little taste of a completely different Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and also just another superhero movie littered with dozens of superhero films coming out every year up to this point. When the first trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming was released, it did its job. It introduced us to the new Spider-Man slash Peter Parker. But then another trailer came out revealing more stuff, and another revealing even more. And by then, you learn enough about the movie that it tells you a good majority about the, how the movie plays out. Don't get me wrong, the movie was still enjoyable, sure, but if so much wasn't spoiled in the trailer already, then it would have been so much more exciting to see it in the theater. My last example for the trailers is going to be for Thor Ragnarok. Now, the very first thing I should mention is that by now, in 2017, Marvel movies have been great, or at least tolerable, and are all under a very recognizable brand. <clears throat> we are almost to the decade mark in the... We are almost to the decade mark in the MCU. The Infinity War is right around the corner, and by now, no one even needs to see a trailer for a Marvel movie. Seriously, just released the future titles called Untitled Marvel Movie, and by the time it hits theaters, they will be packed full, I promise! Anyway, I just had to get all that off my chest. The first Ragnarok trailer was fun and upbeat. The part where Thor and the Hulk are about to fight is freaking awesome and funny. We all want to see that. But then they show his hammer get destroyed! What the heck? 
that could have been shocking to discover in the movie theater, not in the trailer. I know that comic book fans may not have been that surprised, but for common moviegoers, that would have been amazing. But it gets even worse with the second trailer. They reveal that Zerter is in it. Hulk and Thor team up and form a small space fighting team. They show that Loki plays a big role, and they reveal more jokes that shouldn't be in the trailer. So now, once I watch the movie, I'll be expecting to see these certain scenes and not feel as much tension as I could because certain parts were already spoiled in the trailer. Going into the movie, I already know that Asgard falls, Thor gets captured, the Hulk gets captured, Thor's hammer gets destroyed, they have to fight each other, they team up with Loki, and they have to fight Helena and possibly Zerter. I should not know all of these going into the movie. These should be things that I discover as I watch the movie, not right before I go in. I already practically know the beats of the movie before I even start. What the heck? <sighs> I've said enough. I think that about wraps it up. <clears throat> Some trailers can be good and entice you, while others can suck and spoil the movie. <sighs> Catch you guys later. Rookie Critic, out. Alright, alright, people, listen up. If you liked the video, then why don't you click that thumbs up button down below. I gotta go set up for the next scene in a little bit, but if you happen to enjoy this video, then why not, you know, leave a comment, share, you know, subscribe. Also, if you click that notification bell down below, then you will be notified whenever Jeff decides to post a new video. That's pretty good, right? His social media should be in a link down below in the description, and if you'd like to learn more about trailer history, there should also be a link down there as well. I'm gonna go have a beer. Later, guys.